morning, good evening, good night, good afternoon, whenever you're watching us. Welcome to Jason Forest, the lesson 93. So, class half practice has division again of twos, fives, and sevens, so let's quickly go over a few of these because they're written in a different way, so you might get a little scared as soon as you look at this page because you're wondering, what the heck, Mr. Alice, what does this mean? What am I supposed to do? Well, let's go through this together. So, four divided by two, that's all that question says. So how many twos are going into four? Two, four, two twos. 16 divided by two, so how many twos are going to 16? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, eight. Okay, so even though it looks different as the other two pages, Division can just, is a weird one because it can be written in three different ways. So 20 divided by 5, 5, 10, 15, 20. 45 divided by 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Okay. Do a couple sevens together. 7 divided by 7. Oh, come on, that's got to be an easy one. We should all know that one. 7 divided by 7. Yes, that's right. It's 1. 49 divided by 7. How many 7s go into 49? Oh, that's a big number. 7, 14, 21. Okay, actually, let's count kind of got 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49. 7. All right. So you can do the rest of that by yourself. And then once you've done that, you can come back to guided class practice 93. Oops. Oh, All right. Question one. There were 316 children present at Edgerton School on Tuesday. The second grade went on a field trip to the aquarium. 68 children, I'm going to write a little 68 there, and five teachers went on the field trip. How many children were left at school? Do we care about the teachers at all? Do we care about the teachers at all in this? In this okay, well, we do care about teachers at all. A little bit, at least, I would think. But in this question, do we care about the teachers? No. So we're going to cross those teachers out. We just want to know how many children were left at the school. Hopefully not left alone. Hopefully with their teachers. But how many teachers, or how many children, were still at school and didn't go on the field trip? So, how many children started at the school? 316. Then how many went to the field trip? 68. Sorry, plus scene or minus scene? That's plus scene or minus scene. That's right. We are minus scene. We see who's left. Okay. If I have six, can I take eight away? If we have six, can we take eight away? No, so we need to borrow. So we're going to borrow from the tens. That becomes a zero. And now six becomes 16. 16 subtract eight. Do that in their heads right now. 16 subtract eight. That's right, it's eight. All right, we're getting there. Now we have a zero, because that's what this is now. It's a zero. Subtract six. I have zero, I have zero jelly beans in my hand. Can we take six away? No, there's nothing to take away. So we gotta borrow from the hundreds. It's gonna become two and zero is now gonna get an extra 10. So now I have 10 subtract six, which we can do. What is 10 subtract six? 10 subtract six is, you got it, four. And then two subtract, nothing. It's two. So we have 248 children left. And let's not forget to write our number sentence at the top two, which was 
316 subtract 68 equals 248. Question two, what is the area of this rectangle? So if you remember from guided class practice, oh, one sec. All right, sorry about that. I'm gonna take a little break there for a sec. So question two, what is the area of this rectangle? So again, remember area is how many squares are inside. So if I cut this up here, how many are gonna be here? It's gonna be five. One, two, Four, five, and then on this, there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It'll look just like this. Okay, so there's five on the sides and eight like that. Okay, so what is our number sign? We have to figure out how many squares are inside this whole rectangle. How many squares? Squares, inches. Okay. What's our number sense? Go back on to 92. The guy class was 92. If you can't remember, okay, what our number sense has to be. I try to pause the video right now because I'm going to go right to it and try to figure it out. So the answer is 5 times 8. What's 5 times 8? Fives eight times five ten. Forty square inches. Good job. Remember, if I'm going too fast, you pause whenever. If you think I'm going too slow, then you can fast forward or you can skip ahead. Okay. All right. So now we are drawing a picture to show an array. Okay, remember an array is when there's dots or squares put together. So, of cookies, though, we're going to draw cookies. So, four times three. One, two, three, four. And how many cookies are going to be on the top row? Three. There's going to be each row is going to be three cookies. The columns, the first number is the columns, and the second number is the rows. So how many cookies do we have all together? Four times three equals twelve. Fill in the missing number in these patterns. Ooh, kind of tricky patterns here. 163, 173, 183, 193. I want you to pause the video, okay? And try to do these two patterns by yourself. Pause the video, click pause, and then try to do the pattern by yourself. And then when you think you got them, Press on pause. All right, so the next number is, that's right, 203. And then after 203, 213. And after 213 is what? What's the final number? You got it, 223, good job. Now, we've never done a pattern like this before, so this is a bit tricky. If you think it's a bit hard, that's okay. Remember, just because something's hard doesn't mean you can't do it. Two, four, six. So that top row is all done. Three, five. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Seven. Thank you for that, for the help. That's right. Answer seven. Because if we look here, it even goes, there's another pattern. There's a pattern going this way by twos. Two, four, six. But there's a pattern going down. Six, seven, eight. Four, five, six. Two, three. You got it. Four. There are three red candies, two yellow candies, one green candy, and eight purple candies in a bag. Okay, let's do this one more time. There are three red, two yellow, one green, and eight purple candies in a bag. If Gina picks just in a whole bag, if she picks up one candy, which color is she most likely going to get? So we have to think, okay, which color is the most, has the most candies in the bag? Yeah, purple. Purple is 
eight, that's a lot more than any other one. So there's a lot of purples in the bag. So if I close my eyes and pull out a candy, it's probably going to be purple. Grade threes and fours, you're going to do question six by yourself. Okay, so click pause, do the questions, and then come back because we'll go through them now. One out of three plus one out of three. So which number is the numerator? That's right, one. Which number is the denominator? That's right, three. When we add and subtract fractions, we only care about the sorry, the numerator, the number on the top. The, the denominator stays the same. So one plus one is two, so two out of three. The denominator stays the same. Say it in your head. The denominator stays the same. Six, six, six. Five, subtract four. The numerator changes. Five, take away four is nine. All right, take away, so let's double check now, make sure we can take away the numbers from each other. If we have three, can we take nine away? No, you got it. So let's borrow a 10. We have 13, subtract nine, which is four. One, subtract six, can we do that? No, we cannot. So we gotta borrow. 11 subtract 6, which is 5. Okay, now we have 4 subtract 1. Good job, which is 3. Don't forget your money sign. 7 plus 8 plus 6. We should already have this. 7 plus 8 is 15. 15 plus 6 is 21. So we're in the 20s. you got to bring a 2 over instead of a 1. So 2 plus 3, 5 plus 7, four, sorry, 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. Let's not forget our decimal. Okay. 1 plus 9 is 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 plus 1 is 16. Carry the 1. Now we have 6 plus 2, 8. 8 plus 8 is 16 again. Carry another 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. Great threes and fours, do not forget your dollar sign, and then that is it for math until you get your next weekly package. Thank you for sticking through and getting all this math done. I know there's a lot of other things for you to be doing too, but I appreciate you guys keeping your mouth so that whenever you do come back to school, whenever we all do come back here, you are ready to learn from right where we left off here. Okay, so thank you so much. You guys have a great day. Miss you all. Love you all.